Good afternoon, fellas. How is everybody's day going? The Surreal Andre, aka Andre 2K. With, I don't even know what I want to call it. This is a mashup video. This is between, it's a combination between another part, part three to the auction house merchanting guide and the best possible bronze players you can get to start the first two road to playoff seeds if you can even play. <laughs> um, anyway, though. Number one at the point guard, you don't get better than Tony Roten. It just hands down, flat out, period. There is no, you, you don't, you don't get better. All right. And for, for those of you, first of all, who don't know who Tony Roten is. <laughs> yep. But yeah, you don't get, get better than Tony Roten. You see, he, you see he has a bunch of cold spots, but really all you need from your point guard, this is the best you can get. He has eight, I think that's the most signature badges on one bronze player in the game. And they're good ones, they're finishing ones. And his layup is high, he's quick as fuck, and you just don't shoot with him unless you're wide open. At the two, NA, not available, not applicable. Anthony Morrow, you don't, that's it, you don't, there's no arguing it, and I don't even have to explain to you why, you should just see it on the screen. And Tony Roten, I got him for 1250 and in reality, he sells for about 3500 so if you see him for cheap, buy him and sell him back, because he really is the best bronze point guard you can get. Sure, you, you capitalize on the people who don't. Anthony Morrow, uh, I got for a 500 and he's the best starting bronze shooting guard in the game, hands down. Um, yeah. And he, I got him for 500. He sells for about 3,000 to 5,000 just because of his jump shot. Chase Budinger, I got for 500. He sells for about 1,500. Um, I don't know if you want to call him the best starting small forward bronze because he doesn't have any badges. But I like him because he plays D and he can dunk. Um, the next backup, the backup small forward on the team is probably your, your other best option. I'll show you in a minute. My silver player going go with the Durant. I was trying to decide between Durant, Bledsoe, and, and Dragic, but it eventually I just went with the Durant just because he makes some like crazy shit and his three is like a 70, but he still makes three pointers. I don't know how. So I decided just to cave and go with the Durant, and I put him at the four because I like to play up tempo and fast, and I have an athletic team, so why not just you know take advantage of my strengths of my team? Nazir Muhammad, if you don't know who he is, he is um, the guy who bitched LeBron James. Yeah, but other than that, he does exactly what you need a center to do, and he's as good as a bronze center as you're going to get. He has a high um, shot close, a high standing layup, a high block, and has scrapper. The only thing that he'd be missing is probably tenacious rebound, and that's about it. But in my opinion, he's the best starting center you can really get for the first two seasons. And without a doubt, the starting first two guards should be Tony Roten and Anthony Murrow. Hands down, uh, not applicable. There is no argument about it. They're the best. Um, so yeah, going on to the bench, Austin Rivers, uh, been a 2K my team beast for I don't know how long now, since my team has been started. Um, his stats are still the same. Uh, high layups, uh, his three pointer is at 80 something. Uh, he should have the Euro, the Euro uh, signature. He's a, a good uh, backup point guard. If you don't have Austin Rivers, you can use Ray McCallum. Ray McCallum's three pointer is just as high, his layup is just as high, and he goes for cheaper. People will more sell Austin Rivers that's around the 2500 mark just because he's Austin Rivers. Jimmer, there's no question to ask, just get Jimmer. <laughs> he sells for actually decently cheap, like 1500. Um, you can't really merchant Jimmer, people really kind of sell him at the same level. Clay Anthony Early, he's the one that you can put in place of Chase Budinger. I just like bring him off the bench because I think Chase plays a little bit more defense than him. But he sells for about 3000 I got him for free to the next starter pack. And I forgot to mention Nazir Mohammed. I got him for, I think, 600 And he should sell for around 2000 Because people know that he's actually a really good center. Um, next coming up was Derek Williams. If I wasn't going to put the, the throwback Durant at the fort, it would have been Derek Williams. He's the best bronze power forward in the game. His stats don't really show it. But he is a rebounding machine. He takes boards for me. He steals boards, like, and he dunks because I think he has posterizer on Lob City finisher. I think he might also have hustle points. I'm not sure, but he eats the glass for me, and he does an excellent job. And honestly, if it wasn't for Durant, he would be the starting four. And he has a little nice jump shot. If he can't get the form down, his three is like a 70-something, and he sells for about I think 2,000 on the auction house. 
And I'm telling you the prices for all these players because a lot of people just put up bronze players for 500 half of the time. Because a lot of them don't really know or care for the bronze players. So that, that's the auction host side of it, the merchanting side of it. You, if you see them for 500, buy them and sell them back. It really does add up over time. Um, Jeremy Evans, he, this, he has been like this for a long time in 2K. But people don't really use him. I know it's a good time. His dunking is extremely high. His blocks is a 99. And he eats glass. Because his vertical is like a 95. Block is a 96, sorry. But Jeremy Evans, oh, if you need some athleticism on your team, just that, just throw him on. And, and he, there is no merchanting to him, sadly. People always sell him for around 500 to 1,000. So he's more of a value pickup for that first team. CJ McCollum, I just have him because I, I saw him for cheap. He's about 500. Um, I got him for 500. He sells for around 1,500. I'm sorry, I need some water. He sells for about 1,500 just because of his jump shot. And he has a high, high layup for a bronze point guard. It's like an 89, which is, for some reason, I don't know what the fuck. Wayne Ellington, I just have him because he need a shooter, extra shooter on the bench. He has limitless range, I believe. And basically, he just shoots. That's really about it. He can be a good shooting guard if you can't get Anthony Murrow. And if you want to take a different route to pick up Perra Antic at the 5, a very think of him as a bum-ass Spencer Hawes. He can shoot and grab rebounds. That's about it. Um... This is, in my opinion, though, this is probably like the best, yeah, yeah, probably not counting one or two players, um, but this is the best possible bronze team you can assemble to start your first two seeds. So hopefully this helps a couple people out there who didn't really have an idea on how to make a decent enough bronze team to start the seeds. Um, I, I figured I would do this because I still haven't been able to play a game, guys. Um, I, the auction house is down for me now, I can't even find the auction, like there is nothing up, it doesn't work. Um, this I was caught up with homework this weekend, but then no when I finally tried to play um, I just couldn't find a game so the servers kind of crashed already again So in the meantime, I've been playing a lot of domination. And I'm actually almost done with it I think I have 85 out of the 99 stars I went to I think the Spurs or the Clippers and I'm now it's getting kind of tough But hopefully I can finish that up get the Sapphire card and then start the seeds this week um, So yeah, peace. Hopefully this auction house guide helps you or hopefully it helps your bronze team to start the seeds